So my story is this, born in Mexico, raised in the United States, undocumented. I grew up in South Oak Cliff, which is uh, the poor part of Dallas, moved around a lot to a lot of places, separated from my mother for 20 years. She stayed in Mexico to be a nurse, while my dad stayed here to be an undocumented worker. When I was 13, my dad got deported. You come home to an empty house. He's no longer there. He's no longer there. But each time I come back to Dallas, I come back to Oak Cliff, and I move to a better side. I was making pretty good money, so I did what I did was I found the most expensive apartment in Oak Cliff, and I took it. It was nice, but from time to time, you'd hear gunshots and go, well, yeah, it's still Oak Cliff. At the age of 18, I got my first job at 20. I got fired at age 22. Same thing, I got fired again because my documents didn't match up. I decided I was going to deport myself because I was tired of all the bullshit. Like one time I saved $5,000 to buy a new car. I ended up spending it on getting my papers fixed by an attorney. Within three weeks, that attorney had $3,000. I never heard from him again. And eventually you get tired. But then there was this big march and that kind of ignited the idea of like, hey, there's a lot of us. I started doing more like radical work, hunger strikes, planned arrests until people were saying, uh, this guy's kind of crazy. I started doing small campaigns, but campaigns, you know, are flawed by design. The people are just a means to an end. When politicians say, I want to get out the Latino vote, they just want us to vote for them. And I've sold myself to the highest bidder before, but now I'm like, to hell with that shit. I'm going back to my roots. If Trump wins, I see Gestapo-style raids, crazy stuff, maybe people who don't give a shit who the president is will wake the hell up. Like I say, if you're under attack, you can either run or fight. Oh. oh. Arizona, my mentor called and said, do you want to fight the sheriff in Arizona? And I was like, I have to go to school. And he was like, to hell with school. And I was like, hell yeah. We did all kinds of crazy things against him, sabotaged his events, you know, with like um, political theater. We took live chickens into his office. But Arizona was, it was scary. I wouldn't drive in Arizona. I would be so scared because they can pull you over. Scariest thing, we were canvassing. They pulled us over. I'm not driving. The other guy next to me is driving. They ask for his license and registration. Then the cop asks me for the same. I'm like, I'm not driving. I'm from Texas. And he's like, yeah, but we still need your license and registration. And I'm undocumented. Have my Mexican passport, which is something you're never going to show a policeman. And luckily, in my wallet, I had a Sam's card. And so that's what I showed him. I showed him my Sam's card, and it had my picture. The picture was blurry, and he took it and said, OK, yeah, if you buy in bulk, you must be American. You must be American. Thank you.